All right, welcome to Let's Play 1001 Games. Uh, I'm your host, Gaming J, and today I will be playing Deja Vu. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a series where I try to work my way through a book called 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die, and this was one of the recommended titles. Deja Vu, A Nightmare Come True. Uh, for those of you who know the game, uh, you may notice that I'm not playing the original. I'm playing an NES remake. And that's simply because I tried the original. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll let me read this and uh, I'll get back to it. You're waking up from a stupor that feels like a chronic headache after a week in Vegas. Yeah, been there, right? Uh, you notice your, your right palm is covered with dried blood. But you can neither see nor feel any wounds. Alright. You feel a sharp pain on your left forearm. Rolling up the sleeve, you find a tiny puncture in your arm. While I'm willing to bet the blood is needle related. Uh, has a doctor injected me with some, some medicine? Then you realize you can't remember who you are. Oh my god. You have no idea where you are and why you're here. You have no memory whatsoever. So, most cliched kind of trick in the book to use the old amnesia in Vegas, waking up in a dirty bathroom stall with a uh, needle mark on your arm, track marks. I mean, the guy was probably just doing PCP or something and, and uh, took a little too much. Okay, so I'm not playing the original game because I tried to play the original game. I gave it, uh, gave it a try. But the original game was for the Mac, which was really hard to uh, work out. And then the the next sort of remake of the game was for MS DOS, which I also tried. But that has really bad graphics and no sound. And the NES one just looked prettier, so I thought I'd try it. Also, I made a whole video for this playing the DOS version, and I did horrible horrible at it. Uh, I think I realized that I'm going to have to, for these adventure games, edit out parts where I'm looking at a walkthrough, because at least for this game, watching me just click randomly on stuff seemed really dumb. So uh, this is this is take two at, at Deja Vu. Coincidentally, I'm having a little Deja Vu right now as I play. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that was a, a horrible joke. Okay, um, we've wake first thing you do when you wake up in a dirty bathroom stall with no memory is... Uh, well, you try to talk to somebody. Hello? Who are you speaking to? I don't know. Okay, the first thing you do is... What do you do? You take your coat. You take the coat. Thanks. And lo and behold, there is a gun behind it. Um, I don't know if that's your gun. I'm going to assume yes. I'm just going to take it. Um, if you examine your coat... It's kind of funny. It's... Uh, a light brown trench coat that matches your trousers. I like to imagine that you feel something in the pocket. Oh, okay. Um, you know, the amount of descriptive text that people have to write for these types of adventure games, it's astounding when you think of it. Like, examining a coat, what are you supposed to write? I don't know, it's a coat. Uh, so it's kind of kind of funny to imagine someone sitting in an office having to figure this out. Like, open the pocket. They had to type that in. Someone did. I have coins. I assume seven coins. Coin equals seven. Uh, lighter, gum. I have a hanky. That's like the oldest man way of saying a Kleenex. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what else would you call it? I was going to say a neckerchief, but that's not right. A do not, not a do-rag. What am I thinking of? It's a... Uh, not a tissue. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. Um, okay. So, I don't know. Let's put on sunglasses, I think. Let's look cool. Because if you can't remember who you are, I mean, you might as well look cool while you're doing it. Wallet. Okay, uh... Okay, we're going to take a break from this, and I am going to try and, uh, try and poke around here a little bit. Let's leave. 
What do you think you're doing? I guess that's not how you leave. Move. Oh, I know what I have to do. <laughs> it's funny, like... Clearly, okay, when I clicked move and I, I clicked to go in there, they clearly entered text as if they knew I was trying to go through a closed door. Just open it. Sometimes in these adventure games, I feel like I'm in control of, like, the dumbest character alive. Where he's like, I don't know how to leave. The door is closed. It's like, open it, dude, and walk out. Look at those sweet sound effects. You're in the washroom. From the looks of it, you figure that the janitors must be on strike. Well said. This is definitely, uh, film noir. Okay, we can look at the mirror, and we can see ourselves. You see yourself in the mirror. You again realize with horror that you can't remember who you are. Am I missing half a face? I look like Two-Face. Okay. Uh, okay, we're so angry that we can't remember who we are, we're gonna smash the mirror. Wham! Your hand is numb. From the impact. Damn straight. Okay, I remember. Now we have to open the door, right? Yeah. Um, and we're going to... Oh, no, wait. I gotta refer to the, the walkthrough. Okay, hold on. Okay, wow. I just finished looking at the walkthrough. There's tons of stuff we missed. Actually, I guess I sort of started to do it and I got distracted because I'm impatient. So we need sunglasses. No, we have to use them on ourselves. Which basically means slap these babies on. Uh, how do you do self? There we go. They're too big. Oh, okay. Uh, can we open the wallet? You open the wallet. And that's what I want. I want to examine the key card, I think. Oh, wait, I want to take it. See, so normally when you guys tune into these videos, you get to watch me, like, play a game, and I can talk while I'm playing. This... It requires quite a bit of concentration and reading to like see what's going on. As I said, believe me, I tried to play this without um, a walkthrough, but uh, I really didn't get very far. I was just like clicking on nothing. Um, penthouse. Okay, do we need this card? I guess we were supposed to examine it, so that, you know, success. How do we... How do we close? How do we go back? Okay, here we go. Um, okay, hold on one more second. Okay, we need to examine some more stuff here. Open the coat up again. And we're going to examine our lighter. So yeah, it's hard to really talk over these adventure games I found. And... You know, when I don't know what I'm doing in something like Donkey Kong, I can just sort of play around. My initials are JS, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and deduce that right away. Anchor Chief. JS. Dun dun dun! You know any JSs who've recently lost their memories in Vegas? Also, what kind of crappy bar am I at in Vegas? I've been to Vegas. They've cleaned it. They've cleaned their act up in recent years. Okay. Oh. Okay, can we leave? Can we go here? What is the leave thing used for is what I want to know. Every time I use it, it, it the computer acts all confused. Like, you know, nobody ever clicked leave when they meant move. I'm leaving the room. A dingy hallway. Another thing that intrigued me about this game is that, you know, I think at some point there's like some girl tied up in a trunk or something, and apparently that's in the Nintendo game too. 
so I kind of wanted to see that. I never heard of this game as a kid. I probably, I don't know if I would have liked it on Nintendo, because I, I wasn't, I was a kid, I wasn't smart enough probably to play this. No, I probably would have tried. Okay, we need to open this door. Screw this hallway. I need nothing to do in here. Go through. I feel kind of like uh, Neo in the Matrix, where like Morpheus was telling him what to do. You're in a dark, empty bar. The bar is closed, or else you've you scared everyone away. Okay. Guess what? We're in Joe's bar because I can read backwards. But yeah, so I keep looking at the walkthrough to know what to do next. And so I... Oh, wait. Wrong one. Take. I kind of feel like Neo in The Matrix. I don't know. Is it cheating? I I tried to play this game legitimately. I, I You know what I did? I, I read, like, the first couple of paragraphs of a walkthrough. And then I went and I was like, well, you know, I'll probably be able to get a little further by myself just by clicking around on stuff. Nope. I did not at all. And so I just don't know if it's really fun to tune in to watch me just really just, I, at that point I'm just talking over like a game because it wasn't even playing. Although, I don't know, you can make the same argument I'm not really playing now since uh, I'm just kind of following instructions. You're in the upstairs hall leading to a door. On the walls are some posters of fighters. You feel very dazed. You had better do something about it. Your memory loss is making you feel weary. You feel like you've been up for many days without any sleep, only worse. Well, guess what? I did have some sleep. It was just in a men's room, so... It's probably not the most refreshing type of sleep. It's a poster of some boxer named Doghouse Riley. This one's a poster of Puff. Puff McPuffin. Puff McMuffin? Wait. Puff McMuffin. The guy's last name is McMuffin. That's hilarious. I hope he gets discounts. When you're named after McDonald's uh, breakfast item, you better be getting that at a discount. Looks like a poster of you, but then you can't remember who you are. I know what it is. He just has early onset Alzheimer's from uh, being a boxer. Name underneath says Ace Harding. Doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, well... Years of boxing will give you a uh, tattered memory, man. I think I'm supposed to go in here now. You're in a reception room or the secretary's office. The odor of cheap perfume still lingers in the air. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I have to consult Morpheus. So my spidey senses tell me that I want to take a letter that's on the desk, so I'm just going to try that. Nope. Okay, I know there's a letter there. Let me try this. It's a typewriter. Oh, what am I examining? It's an everyday run-of-the-mill desk. There's a drawer on the other side. Okay. Open the desk. Ooh, envelope. Take the envel envel one. Okay. Imagine this game was happening in real time, and this guy, like, he literally takes the envelope, stands there for a second just staring at it before he opens it, and now it's gonna happen. Now he's just, like, staring at a bill. Like, taking forever. This guy would have sort of mental issues. Um, okay. Next. Where'd the bill go? Examine. I can't tell if this is easier or harder to play on a Nintendo controller. It's a bill from Dr. Brody made out to Joe's bar. Hey, guess what? I know that that's where we are. I used my own deduction for that. The game didn't tell me. Bill. Capsules, sodium pentothal... Medrazine? 
These are big words for a Nintendo game. As a kid, I wouldn't have been able to even pronounce that. Dieth Diethanol trimine. These sound like truth serums. Sounds familiar, but you can't be sure. Okay. Now, we try to open the door. But it won't open. What are we to do? Take a guess. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna use something. It's called using our imaginations. Just kidding, it's the key. Duh. We're gonna use the key on the door. Because we're geniuses. Sweet. Okay. Now, I know leave isn't gonna do anything. I'd like to know what this leave thing is for. Uh, we're gonna go in here. You're in an office. A dead body is slumped over the desk. His left hand grips the phone receiver. There appears to be something in his pocket. I don't see a lot of dead bodies in uh, Nintendo games. Well, let's examine him and see what happens. It's a man who appears to be lacking something, namely life. Oh God, whoever wrote this, uh, they were not at the top of their creative uh, writing workshop, I'll tell you that. There are three bullet holes in him. He's still gripping a receiver in his left hand. He suggests a memory. You feel as though you should be able to recall who he is. That is called familiarity in the absence of recollection. For all of you nerds out there. Okay, um... What am I supposed to do with this guy? Strong smelled envelope. Okay, open the desk for a pencil and key number three. Let's see, open the desk. All right, well, I mean, hey, you can always use a pencil because you never know when you need to jot down a note. That's a, an ace guarantee. Ace is my name, right? I think it was. I'm, I'm a boxer. Okay, key three. And let's open this dude up. Just kidding, we opened his pocket. Because there's a second key in there that we want. Son. I want so many keys, it'll be like a medieval dungeon master. I just want a big ring of keys. Because they're always useful in adventure games. Adventure games make the oddest things useful. Like, okay, I have sunglasses, wallet. What's the seltzer for? If you really woke up, you wouldn't just grab seltzer from the bar. I don't know, like, maybe I'll have to, like, comedically shoot it in the guy's face and then punch him. Like in the cartoons. Bill, pencil, I don't know, I guess the pencil's useful. All right, all right, all right. Uh, do we need anything else from this guy? No. Uh, so I think we can leave. We can just straight up get out of here. Because I think we can just take the fire exit? Uh-oh. Open? Oh, it's a window. Okay, yeah. So we're just gonna like bail out the window. Like that's something people do. This isn't sketchy at all. You're in a fire escape or when there's a fire you use it to escape. Who wrote this? You get an F. Alright, now we open a medicine or the next window? No, we move forward. I don't know, I'm having a hard time understanding where I am. Woo! Now you're on the third floor of the fire escape. You have a breathtaking view of the alley below. Okay, come on. Who? It's an alley. Breathtaking. I've never heard an alley described as being breathtaking. The majestic alley. With the treasurable dumpster and the, the lonely trash. Truly a thing of beauty. I think the guy who wrote this was, ju was just working for a paycheck, honestly. What kind of room is this? It looks weird. It's called a sex chair, buddy. <laughs> just remember, you're in Vegas, so whatever happens here, 
stays here, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's take these. Oh god, okay, which one is not empty? I have Medic 2. Medicine, right? I, I assume that's what it is. Okay, next move is to examine this. Medrazine. Okay, now we open the trash. Hmm, capsules. Doctors put medicine in these for patients to take. Maybe it's because this is a Nintendo game, because I feel like... They're belittling me a little. Hmm, did you know that capsules are things you can put medicine in and eat? A door is a thing that closes and stops people from exiting a room. Silly person, you must open the door first. Like, give me a break. I'm a full grown man here. Why would you talk to me that way? I just want to feel superior. Okay, uh, now I think we just leave. Okay, watch. I'm not gonna be able to... Yeah, okay. It's like, you don't even know what option to use, and they make you feel bad when you pick the wrong one, like you're stupid. Whoosh, the elevator doors slide open. Where are we, the Enterprise? Doesn't make that big of a deal when we go in, right? Okay. You're inside the elevator. Where do you want to go? Oh man, I don't know. Morpheus? I guess we're gonna go to the bottom one in the basement. When the button is pressed, the elevator starts moving. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's supposed to do, man. Then moments, the elevator stops and the door opens. You just described... You just described the most boring thing ever, going down in an elevator. My god. And it's got like this like music in the background, like shady stuff's going on. You're in a shaft under a manhole. Alright. So, go for it. The sewer that you're in smells really, really bad. What kind of elevator takes you just down into the sewer? Like... That's a little strange, isn't it? Okay, so just go up there then. It's a small room made of stone and brick. Oh god. These descriptions are so bland. You have entered a room that is shaped room-like. Like, just show me the graphics at that point. Don't even bother trying. Just embar you're embarrassing yourself. Okay, open the left door. Open the door. You don't have to describe it. I saw it open. Easy there. Can we go in? What foul things await us? Hey, it's a casino! This is the Vegas that I know. There's nobody around. Well, grab all the chips you can and bolt, man. Okay, I guess we're supposed to go back now. So we were just supposed to come in here to like see that there was a casino. They really need to circulate some fresh air in here. Yeah, you know why? You're standing above a hole that leads right into the sewer. You got elevators going into the sewer, holes leading into the sewer in the middle of a casino. Whoever designed this building really uh, dropped the ball. Open the door. All right, let's see, what are we gonna find? Okay, I bet a guy named Morocco who's gonna challenge us to a duel because we're a boxer. No. Nope. Looks like it could use a good sweeping. Maybe like a janitor in training? Who cares? It's... I don't know. You know what? I knock them when they have crappy uh, explanations, but I guess that's something. So I shouldn't. I shouldn't knock it. Apparently now we just go this way. Oh, oh my god. Okay, open. So this is like a little layout of, of uh, the room you're in right down here. 
Did you guys play a lot of adventure games? I didn't play a lot like this, where you have this sort of view here. Um, what I did play a lot of was the Sierra adventure games, like King's Quest, Space Quest, Police Quest. I love those games. Uh, even Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, these ones... When this came out on the Mac, actually... Okay, so the original game was Mac-based. It was black and white. I don't think it had music or anything. But it was point and click. And it was pretty neat where you could, like, drag and drop objects into your inventory and stuff. And I would, I, I would say I'm actually kind of impressed uh, when I played the DOS version, even, how uh, the interface seemed pretty advanced for its time. Now, this NES version has really simplified that. Now, that's the reason I didn't try it originally, but, you know, again, when my, my video is kind of unwatchable, I decided to, uh, to do a bit better job, and I thought I'd go with the NES one, because we got these sweet tunes in the background, they're kind of set in the mood, um, and they're, you know, it's not like the NES one was particularly centered. I mean, we saw a dead body. Uh, key three, then? Yeah, the bar here. So yeah, okay, we're gonna get mugged. There might be a mugger. You're on the street in front of Joe's bar. You can't see anybody. Oh, well, let's go back in the sewer, right? And complain about how stinky it is. Guess we use key two on the car. Wait. No, we gotta go left first. Wait. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, sh... You see a mugger. He wants all your money. I have a $20 bill, dude. Might be wise to give it to him. He's, like, really... Really leaning into that gun. Look at his face. You idiot. Poke your eyes out. Um, I'm just gonna hit you. Oh no, wait. <laughs> okay, it says that we're supposed to um, hit him, but I got an idea. We're not walking around Vegas with a 22 caliber gun for nothing. So let's do this. <laughs> Take a guess. <laughs> Right in his, his eyeball. Blam! Do we kill him? You're a bit slow on the trigger. He shot you first! Ha! <laughs> ah. Well, at least we know my name is Ace Harding. From the beginning, the odds were against you. It was only a matter of time until you reached the end. Your history. Hmm. Well, that's fun. Okay, hold on. We'll just... Punch the dude. Oh, he's not even here. Okay. This is what I want. This might not be the best time to brush up on current events. Shut up, internal monologue. Um, how do we talk? How do we talk to people? I don't know. Can we move on him? Oh, speak. Speak to this dude. It's 25 cents a copy. If you want it, take the far right one on the bottom. It's oddly specific. Couldn't you just hand me one? Okay. What? There are no more coins. Oh. Ooh, okay, what do we have to do? See, like, imagine a person doing this, like, oh my god, okay, now I have to examine my coat. No. Uh, open it. This guy's just, like, standing in front of the newspaper thing. Very confused. Alright, well. Give me the coins. Give me lighter, too. Why not? Whatever, leave the rest in the pocket. So wait, if those are the only things that are in his pocket, his sunglasses, wallet, key, seltzer, 
an envelope, a bill, a pencil, two keys, medicine, capsules, seven coins, and a lighter. He's just walking around with them, holding them in his hands. No wonder the mugger was after him. He's got all that stuff. Oh wait, not use, I want to take it. Oh man, this, this guy really has a hard time understanding... The end paper. Got it. Thanks a lot, said the newsboy cheerfully. The newsboy says the cops have been roaming around the area looking for suspicious characters. I got a call from some dame who lives across the street from Joe's bar. She told them that she saw some funny goings on around there and she gave a description that fits you. Better watch your step. Well, first of all, wouldn't you be... Wouldn't you be scared of me? Second of all, there's a mugger walking around. Report him. Headline reads, The Japanese Bomb Pearl Harbor. Wait, that's it? So I guess buying the newspaper, the whole point was to learn that somebody... Okay, match my description. You know, I don't even think I need to buy a newspaper. I think I just wasted my coins. Oh, well. I'm not going to live long enough to regret it. Mugger? Mugger? Nah, no mugger. Okay, we're going to use one of our keys. Good old key number two. Guess what? We're going to use it on the car. The door is now unlocked. Okay, slide on in, buddy. You see nothing unusual about the plush interior of the Merce uh, Mercedes. Hmm, I'll take it. Okay, glove box. The dashboard. Alright, here we go. Examine note number two. Joey Siegel. Okay, so we, we know his address. Um... I'll examine the snapshot then. It's a snapshot of a 400 pound woman. He feels if he should recognize her. Ooh. Could be your wife, dude. Maybe there's a reason you don't want to remember. What did you come to Vegas to forget, buddy? Ace. It's a street map. The way to Joe's bar is marked in ink. The address is 1050 whatever. The writing on the map reads, Ace, follow this route. That way you'll know if you're being followed. Be careful, you don't want the cops to find Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk. Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk? What's going on? Hmm. You rascals, what have you done? Okay. Well, let's uh, check out the trunk here. Oops. Well, that's not what I wanted. I'm not even reading the tutorial for this part. I just want to, I assume this, this woman is in here. just want to see her. We riding around with a, uh, I don't know, woman in the trunk. I mean, I don't know what we want to do with her. Maybe we just want to give her uh, a scare. Ah, oh, the key won't fit. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess I should have referred to Morpheus before even bothering to try this. Let's see what he says. So apparently getting her out of the trunk is not as easy as it sounds. And I did waste my coins by buying that stupid newspaper. Damp and your wine cellar. Don't I know it. This is the room that smells like poop because there's an open sewer. Alright, empty casino. I don't know why I would still play legitimately, but I'm supposed to. Oh, God. I mean, they really make you, like, click through these things. Uh, coins. Guess what I want to use it on? 
Just put two and two together for one scheme. Might think of like Mario too. Nothing. You seem to have no luck. Well, I mean when a guy wakes up with no memories in a in a bathroom in Vegas, I don't think he's really lucky. Oh, you're gonna make me do this again. Uh It's kind of slow. If you are not a lemon. Guess what I want to use it on. I can't believe that mugger shot me. The nerve. Yeah, you have to tell me. Okay, come on. This is what gambling is actually like. It's a pretty good simulation of it. Right, come on, I just need a couple more coins. I'm running out. Oh, come on. You son of a... Darn it. I'm on my... Well, second last coin. Okay, here we go. Apparently if I don't get coins, I can't do something in the gun shop, and there's like a really roundabout way of getting this woman out of the car. Ah, uh, yeah. Me no understand. Just let me win, game. It's like the crappiest way to lose a Nintendo game, because the RNG won't let you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Down to the wire. Give me a hundred. Sixteen coins! So, I, I came in with six pennies and I left with sixteen. That's good, but also very depressing. That the huge jackpot was sixteen coins. Even those are dollar coins, it's sixteen bucks. That's nothing. I have a 20 in my wallet. Hey, yeah. Why do I need coins? I have a 20. Ugh. Ace. You fool. You don't understand. Oh, okay. Shot number two. He wants all your money. It might be wise to give it to him. No. No. I'm wagging my finger at him. You don't get this money. I earn this money by gambling. Sock, Socko. Socko. A quick jab to the mugger's eye stuns him. He runs down the sh street shouting, I'll be back! Yeah, well. You don't mug an Xboxer, son. Okay. I don't really understand where I'm supposed to go right now. So we're just going to explore a little, see what there is. Uh, a bum. He stands so close that your eyes water. Hmm. The falling words your blood his mouth. I got a scoop. Something that'll save your life if it's worth 50 cents to you. 50 cents? Nah. Here we go. Pete's All Night... Wait. Pete's All Night Gun Palace? Hmm. Welcome to a palace of guns. Um, go further left. Okay. Ah, oh, this guy again. Your last encounter. Okay, hot shot. I wouldn't try that again if I were you. Give me your money now. Mm, I will save because we're obviously not giving him the money. I wish it would show me below the belt so I could play dirty. Get the gun. Socko! A swift jab to the mugger's left eye sends him reeling back in pain. Oh, I... <laughs> Wait. So does he have two black eyes now? Did I, like, uh... Did I really hurt that guy? I hope so. He's annoying. 
Okay, now I want to go... Where do I want to go? To the West End. Oh. Speak. To him. Hey mister, where you want to go? West End. Accelerates. As you look at your destination, he says that... He looks at the meter and says, Yeah, you owe me 75 cents. Okay. Well, I have no idea what denomination these coins are, but uh, you can have a few. I wish you would just pay him automatically. I guess the pay here slot's a pretty good... Uh... One, two, three quarters. Thanks a lot, pal. This game was made for children. The counting, uh... Okay, whatever. Let's get out of here. You're outside the entrance. Expe expensive looking Stanford Arms. Okay. So, let's go in. Ugh. He just walks into a closed door. Presume I meant to open it, man. I'd like to encounter someone who doesn't want to mug me. White pillars add a nice touch. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's uh, use that card. Uh, where are we here? This, we have something for this. Key envelope. Bill pencil capsules. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, I know. Got to check my old wallet. That's what I want to use. Use this. Use this. Ah. Uh, okay. Can't I just use it? Ugh. They make you jump through all these hoops. Do you guys think adventure games have gotten better over the years? I definitely think so. They've gotten sort of much smoother. For a Nintendo game, actually, I'm I'm impressed. This is pretty good. Um, it's definitely just very clunky at times. And I think as I started to say before, like, do you, did you guys even play a lot of adventure games? I like the stories behind them, but... As soon as you put the card in the slot, the elevator door is swoosh open. Everything happens so fast in this game. But uh, adventure games are definitely, they might be one of the harder ones to watch. I don't know. Maybe you're enjoying this more than some of my other games. I feel at times that uh, it's hard to kind of talk and uh, on anything except what I'm doing in the game. So hopefully this is uh, entertaining. Uh, what do I, wait. <laughs> don't you hate it when you don't even know how to use an elevator. Your character isn't like not obvious in the game. Guess he's gonna put his card in there. You have no choice but to go along for the ride. Ugh, oh, the writing is so bad. <laughs> Hello, you're in a penthouse. You instantly feel that the owner of this place is well off. Yeah, it's called a penthouse, bud. Anyone who owns any penthouse is probably well off. There's nothing like a great work of art for inspiration. Yep. Especially when it's a naked woman, which I can clearly tell even though it's a Nintendo game. Uh... Now, what am I doing here? I guess I'm supposed to take a photo and magazine. Okay. Let's examine these pups. See what we got? See what we got going on? It's a magazine, but really I have no time to read it. Okay. It's a photograph of a very stout looking brunette. Is she 400 pounds? Find an address. 520 Kedzie in Chicago. Chicago! Hmm, well, I'm definitely going to see her. Okay, I think that's all I need to do. I guess we're gonna go into Kedzie. Uh, use... Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Um... Let's 
It's like so descriptive, card. Could mean anything. It's some kind of elevator card. Ooh, so slow. Elevator is in the lobby. Good. You're on the streets. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where to, pal? Yo, take me to Kedzie. I got a dame over there. Here you owe me 75 cents. Well... Forgive me while I contemplate the technique with which to hand coins to someone. I'm getting better at it though, I guess. Okay. Paid ya. See ya. Don't go anywhere though. It's a bungalow. The garden has grown wild. Now we're out in the suburbs. I thought this was a film noir kind of game. Okay. Ugh. Open the door. The door won't open. It must be locked. You know what? I'm sick of this. Here we go. Where's my gun? Guess what? Home invasion. Hope no one's home. Blam! The lock is gone, so the door is now open. Just blew that sucker away. You're inside the bungalow. You smell the odor of cheap perfume. Guess what? I bet that's the secretary. Totally. Okay, let's just <laughs> take everything. Still, nothing is in my pockets. I'm just walking around. Mitts full of loot. Take note number three. You know what? I'm going to read note number three. Slip of paper with three numbers on it. 33, 24, 30. Ooh. That's for a safe. Uh, take note number four. Ugh. Okay, let's see what that one says. It's a small piece of paper with the numbers 250345 on it. Oh, two combinations. That's confusing. Why does this woman have two safes? And an earring. Oh, we literally took everything she owned. She owned a bed, and a couple scraps of paper, and some earrings. Poor woman. I feel kind of bad for her. Uh, living in this kind of house... Oh, right. I'm supposed to inspect the earring. It's a gaudy piece of pearl earring. Hmm. Um... Oh, guess what? Didn't think I was smart enough for that, did ya? Whoever lives here who didn't know I'd be coming and wasn't intentionally trying to hide their possessions. But I was smart enough. I'm a full-on thief, yo. Take your key, take your diary. Take everything up in here. Okay. Over... Examine... I like reading diaries. Name Martha. Not a very appealing name. Well, I don't know. If you name Martha, I apologize. There's a book between the pages. Okay. <sighs> so, open the diary. Take the bookmark. Thank you. Examine the bookmark. They really wanted you to, like, I guess this was, like, the only gameplay they had, so they're like, well, they really have to work for it. We don't want to just give them the bookmark. Initials JS. Oh, wait, this is mine. Hmm. Well, you know what would be good for someone with amnesia is to read the diary, their own diary, which, which they just stole from themselves. Ugh, I can't believe I shot the lock off my own door. To call locksmith or something tomorrow. Okay, now what? Let's go to Sherman? No? I think that's the one we want. 
Where do you want to go? Sure, man. Cab accelerates. So easy commuting in this town. Traffic is a breeze. Literally takes a couple of seconds to get wherever you want. The mayor has done remarkable work keeping our streets clear. Also, our casino's clear, and our bar's clear, and, well, it's really hard to find another person besides a mugger and a newsstand boy. I think the, the mayor's just rounded everyone up and thrown them off a bridge or something. I don't know. Where is everyone? It's really quiet around here. Hmm. Okay. Open the door. Move on in. There's a hallway in front of a staircase to your left. I can't even make like a simple decision like this by myself. I need to look at the walkthrough. That's what this game has done to me. Look, I mean, I've gotten so far, I didn't even get out of the bar when I tried this on my own. My pockets are full of coins, I've beaten up a mugger. I'm a hero. So I guess I want to go over here. Standing by the entrance of an office door. Guess what? I mean, okay, it, I've proven that I can use my gun to just blow a hole through uh, any lock I want. Why do I have to actually use a key here? That's one thing that bothered me in adventure games, where, like, the logic of it didn't always make sense. Where it's like, yeah, I mean, you could just use your gun to blow open every door, but then you would never need any keys. They had to get you to get keys, so you couldn't do that, and I don't know. A game like Grand Theft Auto, that really isn't a problem. You can just use your gun for everything. Inside the doctor's office, there's nobody around. Perhaps you should wait for a nurse. What? I'm just gonna take everything. Medic 1. Take Medic 6. I'm just cleaning the shelf, man. This is straight up robbery. This has nothing to do with the adventure. You know, ever since my guy woke up, he's had a jonesing for something, and he wasn't sure what, but he's pretty sure that after this little uh, escapade here, he's not even reading the labels. And again, not, he doesn't have a bag. These aren't going in his pockets. He's just literally, his mitts are full now with everything and medicine. What is this? It's a, a file cabinet. Okay, well, uh... Okay, there were two possible combinations. Look at all this medicine. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, uh, let's try note three first. 33, 24, 36. I think that's measurements. 33, 24, 36. 33, 24, 36. Ugh, uh... I guess, uh, you know, I, I have combinations in my pocket, but straight up gun time. I was just talking about how you can't, you can't, uh, use your gun to blow things open, but apparently you can in this game. Certain things, anyway. Blam! Whoever this cabbie is, his, like, ability to plausibly deny any involvement with my crime his lungs and fast he's like I don't know I drove him to a bungalow the guy walked up and blew the door open with a gun came back out went to a doctor's office heard gunshots inside came out mitts full of medicine and uh, files I'm just a cabbie I didn't ask any questions yeah right buddy um this taking it all we, have to, we don't have time to read this. Junk. I feel bad for this doctor. He's gonna come in on Monday. He's gonna open his office and just the place is torn apart. Everything is gone. Everything. He's gonna be in so much trouble. There's a final note written by the doctor. Joey Siegel's secretary, Martha Vickers, says she wants... The order delivered to Joe's bar. So this is the doctor who delivered drugs, which may or may not have drugged me. 
but which are definitely going to help with this. This Jones in my guy has been experiencing. Okay. Okay, so before we leave, let's examine file three, patient's medical record. Fainting, stomach pain, feverish vomiting. Symptoms of pruritus or whatever, high fever, no appetite, symptoms of pneumonia. Okay, some medicines, names, and effects. Heart murmurs. Can be fatal. Hmm. Tell the truth. Blah, blah, blah. A memory medicine? That sounds kind of familiar. You feel absolutely horrible. You feel like you're ready to pass out. Okay, so now I need medicine called B something. Nope. Nope. That's what I want. Medicine 6. Use medicine 6. Guess what? We gotta put it in those dirty capsules we found in the garbage. Because we're an animal. Can't take us anywhere. And then we use the capsules. The medicine takes effect. Memories start rolling in. This is one from your childhood. It's Father O'Malley from the DeMille boarding school. You'll feel your memory returning slowly. Gee, well that was in informative, right? I just, I, I want to like meet someone, but I don't, I don't know if it's gonna happen. I feel like uh, this might be a, a good place to, to break. We're gonna, we're gonna save our game. I don't know if we'll ever return. But uh, what did we learn today, guys, playing this game? I think we learned that uh, Nintendo games could be gritty and dark. We also learned that uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, they'll drug you and leave you for dead in a dirty men's room of a, of a shady bar. And you won't be able to remember what happened, so we'll definitely stay in Vegas. Um, probably one of the most cliched, overused plot devices in, uh, in sort of gritty crime, but a good one. I don't know. Um, this whole amnesia thing isn't really like compelling me, but maybe compelled to you guys. I think we also learned that I I'm really bad at like figuring out adventure games by myself. I don't think I'm rare or I'm unusual in that. I think a lot of people adventure games, you know, if I didn't have this internet walkthrough, how would I really have gotten very far in this game? It would have taken like, like me and my brother would have had, had to sit down in front of the Nintendo and play for days and days and figure this out. All the trial and error of it is where the sort of fun lay, if you can call that fun. I mean, I, I don't think I would have done that these days to play the game. Uh, but I certainly couldn't do it for video, so I kind of had to cheat, so I don't know. Um, you got a little bit of a story, you, get, you know, your appetite's a little wet, are you interested in what's going to happen to this this guy? If so, maybe you got to go find this game and give it a try. Um, you'll have to come up with your own commentary, though. I think the pros of this game are that it is, there's a story going on here. I, I'm sure it's quite interesting. Um, it's not a bad story, I would say. And the interface, even for a Nintendo game, is pretty good. The PC and the Mac version are, are better, I think. Um, but even this one is workable. A little clunky at times. Um, and yeah. So should you play this game before you die? You know what? It's, it's not a bad game. If you're interested in it, check it out. Um, there are definitely better adventure games that have come since and, and so on. But in terms of this one setting up pointing and clicking and stuff... You know, again, it was ahead of its time, and, and uh, I mean, that's the point of a lot of these games that I'm trying, is that a lot of them were the first to do something. So this point-and-click thing, you know, I played the old CR games, you had to type in everything you wanted to do there, which was a whole nother can of worms. Uh, sometimes a funny can, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I've been gaming, Jay. Oh, you know what? 
Let's get the hell out of this doctor's office before the cops come. Um, I like that we ended on a crime. I mean, I didn't... I didn't think my guy was necessarily, like, a, a fully good guy. In these film noir things, they never are. But, like, look at all the medicine I got. That's awesome. And doctor's files. I should have stolen even more. I think the next step was to go upstairs and steal more, so... Hey, Miss Cabby's now my accomplice. Guess what, buddy? If you don't keep helping me, I'm not gonna be shooting open a door. I'm gonna be shooting open you. Just take your cab if I can remember how to drive. Anyway, I have been Gaming J. This has been Deja Vu. Hopefully I've entertained you guys. And if uh, you've liked this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. And as always, I will be back in a couple days with a new game and a new video. Until then, guys. Peace.